What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Alex, with you. Here to preview the All-Star Game, the, the NHL's All-Star Game, by looking at the rosters and by looking at the updated standings through this point in the season. So, you guys, yeah, so make sure y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So, yeah, make sure you turn on post notifications as well. And so, yeah, we're going to start off by looking at the NHL standings. So, looking at, uh, so we're going to look at, yeah, uh, who's would be in a playoff position as of right now. So, we're going to start off in the Atlantic Division, where the Boston Bruins are currently leading with a, uh, with a record of 29, 10, and 12. So that's good for 70 points. Uh, Tampa is second. With a record of 29, 15, and 4. Good for 62 points. Flo and then the Florida Panthers are 28, 16, and 5. Good for 31. Uh, which should be third. So those would get the three automatic bids. Into the yeah into the playoffs at least out of the Atlantic, and Tampa and Florida would play each other. It's playoff started today. As we, yeah, so it's basically to those you that be new to hockey, basically with the new playoff system, yeah, the second and third teams in each division would play each other, and we'll probably get into the we'll get into the walkers here. Which, uh, yeah, yeah, think about the uh, walkers now, and um. Metro. So, uh, and speaking of the Metro, uh, Caps right now are currently leading that division with a record of 33, 11, and 5, including 15, 5, and 4 record at home. But, at least, but overall, they do have 71 points in 49 games. The Pittsburgh Penguins are second with a 31, 14, and 5 record, good for 67 points. Uh, they would be playing the New York Islanders in the first round. And the Islanders have a uh, have a 29, 15, and 5 record. Good for 63 points. So yeah. Yeah, so like I said, yeah, Pittsburgh would get home ice advantage for that series. Being the two seed. And then yeah, the, and the Islanders would be the three seed. So yeah, so basically and then, so now looking at the wild card, yeah, looking at the race for the wild cards, which basically when you take the top three in each division out of the equation. Then you take the top two records among everybody else. So basically, here in the Eastern Conference, you got ten other teams that would not get an automatic bid, and then the two best records out of those ten would advance. Which I think would uh, be will be that top ten in the East, top nine in the what? Be, be ten in the East, nine in the West. And so, so as of right now, the two wild card bids in the East. Would go to the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Carolina Hurricanes. Columbus right now is 27, 16, and 8. Good for 62 points. They would get Boston at the playoffs started right now. Yeah, that being, yeah, with, uh, yeah, with uh, Columbus being the top wild card and Cl and Boston being the division where yeah, being, that Boston have a worse uh, record than does Washington. And Speaking of Washington, they would get the second wild card in the Carolina Hurricanes, who are 29, 18, and 3. Good for 61 points. So, yeah, which right now I think that would be fifth in the Metro. So, and when you look at the top three in the wild card standings, are all Metro teams. Uh, as a Phillies, 27, 17, and 6. Good for 60 points, but they would not make the playoffs. Being it being only top two. So yeah, so looking now at the Western Conference, so basically same goes here. Top three in each division get an automatic bid into the playoffs, and then the two best records outside of everybody, outside of the other nine teams, also get in. So when you look at the Saint, when you look at the Central Division, the St. Louis Blues are number one in there right now, with a record of 30, 11, and 8. Good for 68 points. Colorado is second with a 28, 15, and 6 record. Good for 62 points. Dallas is third with a 27, 17, and 4 record. 
And right now, which would mean Colorado and Dallas would play each other with Colorado getting home ice for that series. So, yeah, so looking at the Pacific Division, Vancouver right now leads with the you know, with a 27, 18, and 4 record, good for 58 points. Then you got Edmonton, Calgary, Arizona, and Vegas, and a four way tie for second. So, yeah, all of them have uh, 57 points, which really advantaged Edmonton, being they played the fewest games of the four. Yeah, so Edmonton has played 49 games. 126, lost 18 in regulation, lost five more in overtime. And then the uh, Calgary's played 15, 50 games. They also have 126, lost 19 in right, re- well, yeah, 19 in regulation, and lost five in the, in overtime. Arizona currently has the first wild card, uh, having uh, they played in 51. They also have 126. Also has lost five in overtime, but they've lost twenty in regulation. And then Vegas has played fifty-two. They've won twenty-five, lost twenty in regulation, and lost seven times in overtime. Good for their fifty-seven points. Yeah, so basically, unless somebody out of the Pacific Division tries to go on a run, I mean, basically none of those teams are going to be able to catch the St. Louis Blues for it. Uh, for um, a yeah, number one seed. So, um, yeah, so looking here at the wild cards, it's basically, f- yeah, so looking at who they would play, Vegas being the second seed, well, or rather, second wild card would get uh, St. Louis, Arizona would get Vancouver, yeah, with Arizona being the first wild card, to, yeah, being the first wild card, and Vancouver having a worse record than St. Louis. So yeah, so there's yeah, so there's the standings as things stand right now. Yes, now we're gonna look at the updated um rosters for these divisions in the uh yeah for the uh, for the NHL All Star game, and we'll start off with the uh, the Atlantic division. Yeah, so yes, their roster has David Pasternak being the captain, and also in the second All Star game, they got. Tyler Tyler Bertuzzi of the Detroit Red Wings, and he Anthony Duclair of the Ottawa Senators, Jack Eichel of the Buffalo Sabres, Jonathan Huberto of the Florida Panthers, Mitch Mar yeah, Mitch Marner of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Brady Kachuk of the Ottawa Senators, which I would want to see he just got replaced, um, but I can't remember. Uh, Victor Hedman of the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, Shea Weber. Of the uh, Montreal Canadiens, Frederick Anderson, um, yeah, of the Toronto Maple Leafs at goaltender, and Andre Vasilevsky of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, yeah, so of those uh, guys, Shea Weber does lead those guys in All Star appearances. This is his seventh. So, yeah, so Tuukka Rask has chosen not to play. Austin Matthews, I think, yeah, has a, has a wrist injury. So, yeah, so he will be there but won't participate. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah as for the Metro, um, Chris Letang is the captain. Uh, after Alex Ovechkin, like, announced just after he got selected like, that he won't be at the All-Star weekend. So, yeah, so as for, yeah, so, so, yeah this will be Latang's second appearance. And then he will be joined by Matthew Barzell of the New York Islanders, Nico Heeshear of the New York Jersey Devil, Devils, Travis Konechny of the Philadelphia Flyers, T.J. Yoshi of the Washington Capitals, Chris Kreider of the New York Rangers, and then Latang will be joined on the decor by John Carlson of the Washington Capitals. Jacob Slavin of the Carolina Hurricanes, and Seth Jones of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And then the goaltenders will be Braden Holpe of the Washington Capitals and Tristan Jari of the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
So, um, yeah, so as for players not being there, uh, they include uh, Jake Gensel, who's done for the regular season because uh, of his shoulder. Cal Palmieri of the New York Rangers, or Crutch for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Dougie Hamilton of the Carolina Hurricanes. Goaltender Jonas Corpusalo of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And Artemi Panarin of the New York Rangers. who are all, all out injured. And then, like I say, with Ovechkin not playing. So, uh, yeah, so like I say, yeah, Latania does lead the, Metro, uh, the active Metro roster in all four appearances. This is his sixth. Uh, only, yeah, only he and Holpe. Yeah, uh, they're the only two on the Metro roster that have been been to a yeah that have been to at least four All Star games. So yeah, so now we're gonna look at the Central Division. Um, for the yeah, roster where Nathan McKinnon has been named captain, he'll be going to the All Star game for the fourth time. He'll be joined uh, on the forward by Patrick Kane of the Chicago Blackhawks. Um. Yeah, Ryan O'Reilly of the St. Louis Blues, David Perron of the St. Louis Blues, uh, Mark Shifley of the Winnipeg Jets, Tyler Sagan of the Dallas Stars, Eric Stahl of the Minnesota Wild, who, uh, Roman Yossi of the Nashville Predators, Alex Petrangelo of the St. Louis Blues, Jordan Bennington of the Blues, and Connor Hallibuck by uh, the, you know, the Winnipeg Jets. There are no replacements to speak of for the Pacific Division. And so, Patrick Kane does lead the Central Division roster in All-Star appearances. This is his ninth. Now, as for the Pacific Division, Connor McDavid has been named captain of that roster. He'll be joined by the uh, Oilers teammate, Leon Dreisaitl, along with San Jose's Tomas Hurdle. LA's Anze Kubitar, Vegas's uh, Max Pacioretty, Vancouver's Elias Pettersson, Calgary's Matthew Kachuk, Mark Giordano, and Goldhinder David Riddich. Uh, Pettersson yeah, will be joined by, by teammates, also be joined by teammates Quinn Hughes and Goldhinder Jacob Markstrom. Jakob Silverberg, Logan Couture, uh, and Darcy Kemper. Um, yeah, have, yeah, will not be playing due to injuries. Well, well, oh, Silverberg is actually more, more so for, for a personal matter. And then, um, yeah, Mark andre Fleury has just, is like a Ovechkin, flat out chose not to play. So, um, so I know Fleury and Ovechkin, and I would want to say Tuka Rash, too. Uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, he chose not to participate. I know they'll be suspended for their team's first games after the All-Star break. So, for Ovechkin, I think he'll miss next Tuesday's match. Either you know, He'll miss the, the upcoming matchup with the Montreal Canadiens. It's either Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, and then I would want to say everybody else uh, yeah, that I mentioned that won't be playing, I would want to say they'll be suspended too. I mean, definitely know, definitely know Kensel won't, because he's, he's done. And then, um, so, yeah, somebody please just let me know in the comments, um, what the NHL's ruling is about injured players, uh, being suspended. Because that's what I just, yeah, I can't remember exactly the offhand about that. So, yeah, guys, yeah, so make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you, make sure you, uh, stick your notifications as you, so that, you will get all notifications whenever, uh, you know, whenever I make another video. So, Alex here signing off. Till we meet again.